Yo, what's up, Tarnish? It's Bobby, and we're back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about this starter guide. We're going to be remaking it because a lot of y'all were complaining about it, and you know, we're just remaking it for y'all. It's currently 3 49 a.m. in the morning. It didn't go to sleep yet. Don't worry, don't worry. You're going to get out of sleep. We're just making sure we make these con um, these I said content. And these videos for y'all so y'all can you know obviously get y'all day started great and you know level up do it right because the first starter guide i dropped wasn't too informational so we're gonna remake it for y'all and make it information packed all right and then i got a quote of the day right here for y'all so listen to it from andrew tate thing you can possibly do as a man is prepare for the endless difficulty that's going to come your way there's no way out as a man you're either going to have a very difficult life to become somebody important or you're going to suffer the difficulty of being invisible you have to make a choice it's going to be difficult either way best thing you can possibly that's the quote right here so listen take that message bro and really like he's speaking facts bro all right let's get straight into it let's go ahead and make our whoa 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 get straight into it let me just fix this real quick there we go oh yeah guys look got a new camera got a new camera how you liking it how you liking it also got the lighting like i promised <laughs> clap it up and we're close to 8k subscribers yo yeah, i've been killing it the last few um four days i ain't gonna lie y'all surprising me so went and got the camera man went and got the camera hey let's get straight into the video though for real um, we got combustion. We got um, earth. All right. So when you start the game, you have the element fire, earth, water, wind, and max level is 150. So that's why you see a lot of them at 150. You know what I'm saying? And then you got subclasses. So subclasses are like extra abilities that were showcased in the anime. So we have lava, metal, sand. Then we got blood healing and then y'all probably wondering how i got these two moves this is a game pass so if y'all want these two moves right here y'all have to buy the game pass which is 2000 robux and then and then we got flight and projection projection is when you leave your body and you know you just go you're, you're basically in like um third person just watch um out of your body so and then flight is just flight and then we got combustion and lightning Lightning is Azula's ability and it's for fire, all right? And then for non non bender, you get nothing. You have zero subclasses and you have zero abilities. You just use like whatever weapon you get. So keep that in mind. And now for those who want to know like what oh yo bro, what's the best subclass for starting? What subclass should I use? Now my top picks or like water should be your last. Water should be your last choice, okay? But if you want to, wind, wind would be super easy to use. Wind has to be number one. And lava, if you have lava with earth, if you have lava with earth, that's number one. Also, you feel me? I'll put both of those at number one. And fire is really good too. Fire is really good. So wind, number one, um, earth. Earth, I'll put after only because if you don't have lava and it's actually like bro it's a one percent chance to get so if you're lucky you're lucky if you're not then you know you're you're really just asked out and then fire is really is really decent so with fire you can get blue flames you can get um dual sub abilities i have dual subs i don't know it has like a visual effect right now so don't pay that no mind i'm not spinning off my light my lightning but let's go into my private server and then we could go ahead and showcase we can just show stuff no well, not showcase but like you know just show y'all what's what's in the game i know and i know a lot of people be wondering yo bro how do i get to this island how do i get to that island how come i can't see this island yo bro so i'm gonna break it down to y'all as we're loading in let me just you know make this full real quick as we're loading in i'm going to like you know just pick it through for y'all yeah, it does have like a loading, um, a long loading screen. So as we're waiting, I think you should like, comment, and subscribe. Join the family. We're on the road to 8K subscribers. I'm also dropping a full video like this for y'all to help y'all through. And this is from a pro's point of view. You know what I'm saying? I'm a bro. Like, basically, I'm a pro at this point. I'm a pro at this point. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to like really walk y'all through it, show y'all what to do, and like really just, you know, get it popping. Oh, this is perfect. So 
whenever the sky is red like this, you do like double the fire damage. And since you get like, I think it's two times or four times the fire damage. And since I have blue flames, so what you get from Azula is also, this is also a drop. So as a fire user, you're not going to have these abilities. You're not going to have blue flames. All right. You have to get it from the prodigy raid. So if I hit this guy right here, like. You see that you see that burn damage the burn damage is ridiculous right it literally killed it like the burn damage is ridiculous because the sky the sky is red so whenever you see the sky is red like this um firebenders have the advantage they have the advantage like a lot so when you get a sub ability you unlock your sub ability at level 60 this is your sub ability right here um combustion as you can see it says level 60 to unlock blah 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 blee 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 right cool 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 so whatever sub ability you have once you get to level 60 you would have a you would have a trainer right i would say fire master water master earth master um and then for non-benders as you level up you get your abilities so when you level up you get abilities in your inventory but for all the elements you 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 will have a master that trains you specifically for that element and now for getting scrolls scrolls your first scroll you can pick up you you would have one in your you'd get your first skill and also you can go to this shop right here and go pick up a scroll for whatever um element that you're using it's gonna be four scrolls it's gonna be one for earth fire and air water and you know you can choose whichever one is the element that you're using and no you cannot just buy a water scroll and think you're gonna learn the water scroll it doesn't work like that you ain't gonna become the avatar like that bro no right so once you get here you can look through these and then you'll see the scrolls right here cost this much money it's not that much but you know you feel me after doing a few couple of quests you should be gucci for real for real and then um there's also raids within the game so if you want to like level up fast say you want to like you know just get some levels try to catch up within the game i would say do raids um there's a raid that's called the equalizer raid you can also do the fire raid or you can which is the prodigy raid or you can do the air raid now these raids i would say do them with friends i would say like do them with friends or something because um i don't know like i'm thinking yeah that's the, that's the only way bro that's the only way and if you run two times xp is even faster i've literally hit max level within a day of like i'm like with of like grind if you use two times xp like i'm talking about from starting to finish you're using two times xp all the quests should add up to enough levels to like literally max out your character i maxed out my earth bender in like a day with just running two times xp all day like literally 24 7. um the equalizer raid is also located this way as you can see fire island and some um, the temple southern temple which is the air island and they're also working on the water the water island and then it's going to be earth which is going to be last all right so fire island is not the you feel me it's not the nations I, I feel like they're just doing the islands first and then they're going to make the nations after so we get like even more stuff for like our abilities and stuff down the line and pro hopefully they you know they get a little bit creative with it they probably act like add like black fire or something i feel like they can get like creative with the fire colors and stuff like that um hopefully y'all listening to this devs and put that put that put that in the scrapbooks for sure but yeah when you hit level 60 you'll be able to see this island it will appear on your screen and then once that happened one thing i would advise you to do bro is to start saving every every quest you do do not just go into that shop and just start spending all your money blindly don't focus on that shop and don't go buying stuff for no reason bro don't buy that armor none of that you don't need that you do not need that at all so when you hit level 60 you go on that island, you do all the quests, and then the Prodigy Raid will be on that island. Prodigy Raid, you can also do with your friends, and etc., etc. And then the Southern Temple, you you will be able to see this island at level 105. And that's where the um, the Air Raid is, where you can get the, the Fire Blimp. I don't know if you knew you can get a Fire Blimp within this game. You can get a Fire Blimp with on that... Um, blah, 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 blah. I can't speak. Within this island, you can get the Fire Blimp. It's an event that happens randomly. Also with the water spirit, the water spirit spawns here. If you want like the fire cape, air cape, earth cape, um, or water cape, he spawns right here randomly also. 
he has a chance to spawn every hour and you can also do the um quest on this island and keep in mind the quest on this island is ridiculous bro like when i say ridiculous i mean like ridiculous quite quite literally this this um i've actually almost lost my mind playing playing on this island just doing quests it's, it's insane it's nuts it's madness bro it's madness so like i said again bro this guy right here this npc right here also gives a scroll but you have to meet his level requirements so i would say do every quest within this area and then gradually move your way towards this area so this is like the starting area this is like the third section and this is like the four uh um the uh, no, i'm bugging first second and then we got third over there at third and fourth like this front area all right so as you rotate from this area do not cross this bridge if you're not like level 40 bro there should be no reason why you're crossing this bridge keep it i'm keeping it a buck with you if you're not like level 30 you, you've done this this bridge quest right here you have to fish for like 20 and 20 fishes you gotta fish for 20 um fishes and stuff like that and then for a certain abilities like this ability that i wait a minute this ability that i just used the flight move that's my alarm because that's how bro that's literally how um early it is it's like four o'clock in the morning right now bro so that ability that i just used right there you get that from can i not fly wow okay the move is bugging out all right this ability right here the flight you get it from the equalizer raid all right, you get it from the Equalizer Raid. You also get certain abilities from Zuko. Zuko is a boss that you will fight in this area. And you also get, um, and this is for every, like I'm talking about like every element. There's a wind boss, and there's a water boss, and there's an earth boss, and then there's a fire boss. Located on all these areas, in this area right here, right? So which, whichever element, like whenever you go over there to defeat the boss, right? Pay attention to that and fight that boss until he drops your scroll. Zuko drops his dual um dual knives. The Earth boss drops his weapon also and you can get two scrolls from the water mage. And then I think one scroll from the earth mage. And then one scroll from the I think it's the fire daggers. I think that's what it's called. And you can get that from the fire boss. And I think when I forgot what when it was. I forgot what one was, but you can also get a scroll from him, and you can, and then all the elements get a scroll from that dungeon. Every dungeon within this game gives you a scroll. Always keep that in mind. So if y'all y'all always wondering, yo, how do I get this scroll? How do I get that scroll, bro? It's most likely in a dungeon that you've like literally went in. So what? There's only three dungeons. We got the Equalizer, Prodigy, and the Air, the um, the Air Raid. All right. I think I covered everything and then for stats um, if you are an element user don't focus on your melee bro because you're not hitting people that much bro and honestly when you combo with M1 you just want to stun until your cooldown for your abilities come off and then you can hit them with your element alright that's my best advice for you and then you know have a decent amount of stamina like 50 stamina is okay you do not need like a crazy amount of stamina it's not that serious alright I think, I think I think I covered everything even weapons too. weapons armors they, they drop from raids you can get them from raids yeah oh and the best armor within the game that you can possibly get for every for every element it's the prodigy raid and it's called the prodigy armor all right so I think I covered every single thing I covered oh there's also air bison for the um, airbenders there's the water boat, which goes two, at two times speed when you're a waterbender. And then we got the fire blimp, which is for the fire um, benders. And then if you have metal, you can also get, you know, the, the Spider-Man move for the metal guy. All right. So if there's anything that y'all want to know, comment it down below. Let me know if this video covered up everything that a lot of y'all wanted to know within my well, first um, starter guide. I feel like I covered about damn near everything you need to know like quite literally i feel like the most important things is leveling up um getting your scrolls and getting gear you know and then the bosses which i told you when they spawn where they spawn they literally spawn randomly they have a chance to spawn within an hour but yeah leave a like comment subscribe join the family we're on the road to 8k subscribers 
I also live stream also for those of y'all who want to like, you know, just join the live stream and try to like, you know, level up. I live stream like every single day. So don't miss out on the stream. If you want to level up, we can level up together. We can work together and, you know, make it happen. Now, I can't promise you that I'm going to level up with you because there's a lot of people, you know, there's a list of people. And if you randomly just get in, then you get it. You know what I'm saying? Close mouths, close, close mouths don't get fed. So if you don't try to like really rush in there and really try to get yourself situated, I don't know what to tell you, bro. Really. But yo, brush. Uh, I was about to say brush here. All right. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, brush your head, take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Eek out.